Hello everyone, welcome to anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of Anubhav Learning Series videos, we are discussing about how to automate your Fiori application with automated regression testing. By far in this series, we have discussed about automating end-to-end -end master detail Fiori app with the full traceability of the application during the automation test. Today's session, we will focus on cross-browser test. So, the same Selenium code which we have written by far, we can go ahead and test it across different browsers. So, let's get started. So, by far, we have supported only the Chrome browser. And now it's time that we go back and support the Mozilla Firefox as well. So, I'll go to the Logon Fury app method where we have implemented the code for instantiating our driver. Now, here we have implemented the web driver as you can see on the screen, and we are instantiating a Chrome web driver. So, instead of this now, what I'm going to do is comment out this piece, and we will try to set up the Mozilla Firefox driver. To set up that, first of all, we need to download the Mozilla Firefox driver, and it is called Geeko driver. So you can go to Geeko driver page. I will also put this link into the description of the video. So you can go to the github.com slash Mozilla Geeko driver releases, and now you can download the Geeko driver based on the operating system you are working on. So for mine is Windows 64 bit, so I've downloaded this version. And I've also extracted to the same folder where I've extracted my Chrome driver. So I'll just quickly open the folder and show you the extraction. So we go back and now you can see here I've added the Gecko driver exe. So after downloading extract and add it over here, same location where the Chrome driver was. And now a similar code we are going to copy and do it here for the Gecko driver. So let's do that. And now here we use Firefox driver. Control space. And you can get the code completion. So you can see we have got a web driver of Firefox driver type. Superb. So it's a Firefox driver. And the driver path also, of course, we have to set. So here it should be Geeko driver. Be careful with the spelling and it is also case sensitive. Now let's also put the name of the driver. Instead of the Chrome driver, it is Kiko driver. So hopefully that's it. And now when we start our application, it will be launching our Mozilla Firefox browser instead of the Chrome browser. Let's go back and execute. But there is a small problem. The problem is security. Mozilla Firefox will launch or probably not launch. It will give you an error here saying that security does not allow Mozilla Firefox to launch. So it, it launched, but the further action, let's see what happens. So it's trying to load and it just entered one action, but it's not able to perform the desired click. The reason is that Mozilla Firefox driver caused an issue. You can see here. There's an issue that it is unable to talk to uh, certain things, yeah? So this issue typically comes because Mozilla Firefox uh, security permits, uh, doesn't allow you or doesn't give you permission to talk to, with the Selenium. So we have to additionally set another setting and that setting is called profile. So we have to also add a profile options to the Mozilla Firefox. So how do we do that? It's very easy, just come here and create an object of uh, profile options for Mozilla Firefox. It's called Firefox Options. And I can say Options equals to New Firefox Options class. And we can say Options dot set capability. And we are going to pass here the capability name which we want to or I think we have to say set profile actually so we have to set security profile and this profile we are going to get from an, another method so let me go and create an, another method here to generate Firefox profile so to make it simple I have already got this source code from internet and I can just simply use this method create Firefox profile so let's go back here 
and I can say create Firefox profile method which returns a profile object. Also add the references as part of the, the class. And yeah, now we are good to go. So let's go back and try to execute our call once again. So let's start execution. And it is exactly going to perform the same way the way it was into the Chrome browser. So this way it is very flexible that without changing much of code, you are able to do a cross browser test. So you can see it has logged into the application under test and it's navigating. It's much faster as compared to the Chrome browser, at least in this case. And now it's going to plus. Wow. And it is going to enter the data. Click on save button. And of course, this product already exists. So it gives me an error, which is OK. But at least now you can see it's running in the Mozilla Firefox browser. Yeah. So in the next session, we will talk about factory method to customize and run our application based on parameter um, in, in the Chrome browser and in the Firefox browser based on the need. So hope you enjoyed this session. Please feel free to like, subscribe and share this video with your colleagues. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.